your life is everything that you focus on. A hundred percent. Everything. Yes. Like you are literally creating every moment of your life by the way that you act, but what, what you say, how you think, how you interact with people and what you're trying to draw out of them. Right. You are creating all of that. So Absolutely. you are literally the source of everything that you're experiencing. And that's not to say that if bad things, bad negative things happen in your life that it's your fault necessarily but you can still take responsibility for somewhere along the on the line you are creating things that are that are coming right right and i just think that the more that you get to focus on where am i going what do i want and how can i rally people in my corner that are going to help me get there right. or at least build me up so that i'm able to shoot off in that direction amazing yeah that yeah those female friendships are just female so friendships are invaluable so and, yeah. and really positive really- positive ones yes yeah hi welcome to the womanhood lectures i'm yasmin and i'm lyra Uh, Today, we're going to be talking about our five tips for growing older um, and and just cultivating a growth mindset and happiness as we're getting older. So, Lyra, (laughs) what's going on with you? Um, lots is yeah, going on, yeah. but, uh, no, I finished the, uh, 75 hard yes! uh, challenge. Amazing. Um, I kind of cheated in the last couple of hours because hours, oh my gosh, because girl. it was my birthday. It kind of fell on the Sunday. So oh, the last couple of hours, that's amazing that you kept it up through your birthday. I though. did. That's I did. Incredible. Well, the day before my birthday. Okay. So it landed right before my birthday. Okay. Um, and I think that during that time, it just taught me a lot about myself. Mm-hmm. Like I tend to motivate others. I motivate my children. I say a lot of mm-hmm. things to them. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, I have to take my own advice here. You know <laughs> what I mean? Um, but yeah. I had some great clients and some great people in my life that had kind of endeared a, a, some, some, I guess you could say some challenges mm-hmm. that... You know, I'm on the sideline. It's okay. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. We're going to yeah. get through it. And mm-hmm. they're looking at me like, are you serious? Like, of course we're not going to get through this. <laughs> it's disastrous. We're going to die. Terrible. <laughs> the world's going to end. But then we got through it. Ah, right? Oh, beautiful. And that's, uh, that's really, I think, a takeaway mm-hmm. for life in mm. general is that sometimes you're going to go through all of these you know, these challenges, uh, that you're in the thick of things. You're like, this is the end of life. It's, it's, it's over. I'm not going to be able to get through this. Um, and then you get through it and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it changes you. It molds you to become more resilient, Mm -hmm. more, more, um, I guess the next situation that comes along that kind of looks the same or feels the same. You're like, oh, no big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's what the 75 hard did to me. I okay. did work out twice a day. I did follow a diet. Um, had to take a picture of myself as I went through the transition. Wow. Um, lost a ton of weight, which mm-hmm. was great. And mm-hmm. then um, the, 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 the biggest takeaway for me was just how I felt. Okay. Uh, my mindset and what's kind of shifted for me is how I want to live the rest of my life. Ooh, I love it. Yeah. So uh, going through that uh, time frame and then hitting my 45th birthday, which was like a significant thing for me, um, I said, okay, you know, how do I want to live the next 30 years? So this conversation right now between the two of us, uh, we're going to talk about certain aspects of that and mm-hmm. what that means to us as we get older. Yeah. Right? yeah. And like... I think of it and I, and you know, I think of it as like, how do I stay and keep cultivating, I don't know, youth, but to me, youth is more like your attitude, your energy, like how do you maintain that? And to me, that's related to happiness. That's related to your growth mindset. So that's why I thought, you know, it kind of ties in with, with what you just went through as well. And, and health wise, obviously there's, there's things that you can do to try to maintain your health, which, which will help you to feel younger and stronger and Mm -hmm. more energetic and just to really, really age gracefully. Yeah. I think uh, with everything that's happening in the world right now Mm -hmm. and everything that has taken place, I've noticed that a lot of people are taking their health more seriously right now. Yes. Yes. Which is great. I I see it. I see the gym Mm -hmm. a lot more packed recently. I see a lot more people actively trying to, you know, make better decisions. Mm -hmm. And that's great. I think this is the time for you to do it. Like if any time 
is important. It's mm-hmm. what we've experienced the last four years. Right. Um, and kind of turning off what's, you know, going on in the news and what's going on in the world, because that's all, it's just very inundating, to then say, okay, what can I do for myself? Mm-hmm. Like, what can I do for me today mm. that will help me get stronger and help me be healthier, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. I think number one was uh, tweaking our health and fitness, right? Yes, yeah. So health to me is not only working out and I'm not suggesting everybody do 75 hard and mm-hmm. go crazy. It's, it is a huge commitment. Yeah. Um, especially if you're nine to five, you know, you're working a lot and you have a lot of things to manage. Um, but once you start doing it, you're like, Hey, you know, like I feel great. Mm-hmm. I actually mm-hmm. have more energy. My day is longer. I spend more time, um, doing the things that I want to do. I get more done because I'm more efficient. So, I think that was really the lesson that needed to be learned. Yeah. Is yeah. that as you take care of your health, mm-hmm. as you take care of your fitness, as you eat better, as you, yeah. you know, take the nice, the good products and the good supplements, mm-hmm. as you allow yourself to sleep well and meditate and, yes. and take that time for yourself yeah. to, to, to tr- treat yourself well, um, it pays for it in, in your efficiency as an individual. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it, it translates to your, to your energy. You make yes. better choices. You just have more clarity. You just absolutely. everything like it all works together. I've noticed a difference since I started doing, and, and like I tell my friends, I take, I do this disgusting green drink in the morning. <laughs> it's actually not really disgusting, but it's, it's this combination of like specific things. So I'll do something like Shilajit with, um, uh, chlorella and spirulina and moringa and just oh all gosh. these yeah all of these like very That's very super high green, you know? high impact um super and it's literally a shot oh, and wow. i know i know a lot of people do things like you know um say a ginger turmeric shot right. or like something with lemon or whatever i happen to do my green drink okay um and it does like sometimes it tastes kind of like dirt grass. and grass yeah yeah which is which I'm okay with right yeah. so I just down it I like I do I, I do that um combination with um, a little bit of water and a little bit of cranberry juice for example mix it up do my shot I'm good to go I can feel the difference right w- like within a half hour I'm just like bing I'm up okay. and it actually really helps curb my appetite not that I'm trying to diet but it helps me to like kill any cravings, cravings okay. for like say, say sweets in the morning mm-hmm. or anything like that. Or even that mid morning where you're like, Ooh, you're going to reach for like a muffin or you're right. going to reach for something or another coffee or, or whatever it might be. Um, I, I literally don't have that anymore. Huh. Yeah. Like That's it's amazing. just amazing. And I actually don't, it kind of helps me right now with, um, with sort of extending, um, my um fasting in the morning okay so i'm trying to kind of you know not eat after a certain time in the evening and then just go a little longer in the morning and then maybe eat at lunch before it wasn't anything that i really paid attention to now i'm actually noticing like i'm really not hungry and it's because i feel satiated not because it's killing my hunger okay like i actually feel good i feel satiated i feel energized and i'm like okay i'm on and and for me i like that because i try to do a lot of my one-to-one um, appointments and clients centered stuff in my early day. So right from the morning to like mid afternoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like right on, I'm clarity. Like I I know what I'm doing and then I can kind of relax after that and do paperwork and and whatever. Um, so that's made a huge difference for me and I feel good. Like when you feel healthy and good and happy, whether it's a workout and of course, like I do a different type of workout than you, I'll do like a little 10, 15 minute, mini like wall Pilates or calisthenics or something like that. Yeah. So that's just my thing. Or I'll go for like a brisk walk in the morning and then do something else later in the day. But, um, yeah, I kind of feel like, you know, when your body feels good, when you feel strong, you're just happier. No, absolutely. Right. And you don't have those cravings because you're like technically eating grass, but like for me, I don't have those cravings because, um, I just, I, I moved away from it. It's like, it's out of my system. It's out of my body. Like I don't, I don't like, I used to have potato chips and like, you know, soda if I, if I wanted it, if I'm at the movies, I would have popcorn and chocolate and, and Mm -hmm. I just, I don't have those things anymore. I don't have a craving for it. But you don't want it anymore. I don't want it anymore because I've taught my body to not want it anymore. Like I haven't had it for so long. So my body doesn't even know what that feels like. Right. 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 Um, so I don't crave it. 
So if anything, as you get older, just, you know, you have to learn maybe to just get rid of those, those attachments to food in that way. Like Mm -hmm. it, Mm -hmm. it really is, um, it's, it's, it's impactful. Yeah. To your body. Yeah. When you get you rid of it. You feel much. You feel amazing. The difference that you yeah. feel as I'm noticing as I'm older and I make a tweak like that. Yeah. Is like night and day versus when I was 20, you could do something like that. I know and you're you like, get away eh, with I feel it okay. all. <laughs> you kind of don't feel much of a difference yes, no. because you, you kind of feel you're okay all the time. Resilient. Yeah. yeah. As you're older, you'll, you'll feel the impact of if I'm not well, I really don't feel good. Yeah. Like I really I can't know. function well when I'm kind of under the weather versus before I'm, I'm under the weather. I'm like, nah, I can plow through. I can push through. I can, right. you know, whatever. I, can I can't to- anymore. Same. I can't do it, girl. I know. Like, like you were saying in, in one of our episodes, like everything hurts. If you wake up and everything hurts, you cannot function. You know what it's like. like you just can't. If everything hurts, you're like, you know. Yeah. But you don't realize mm-hmm. that what yeah. you're doing throughout the day. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. stuff you're eating, mm-hmm. you know, sitting all day long, maybe not giving yourself that one hour to to hit the gym, right. um, is actually it's negative. It's, it has a negative repercussion it if does. you're just not paying attention to it. So, yeah. if we can cultivate happiness, there is a happiness associated with working um, out and eating well. There really is. It, there is. You'll you'll, you'll see the difference. More efficient. You'll be so happy to yeah. fit into clothes and that, to that feel brain better fog, about yourself. There's there's got to be something like that after forty brain fog. What oh, yes. is that? The <laughs> word finding problems? Yes. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, what's I going know. on with me, right? And then I can't remember who told me. They're like, oh, that's menopause. I'm like, shut up. Whatever. I know. I know. I know that's that's probably part of it too. Part of it that, too. That peri and that. whatever. But perimenopausal. I, I started getting like ads about that. And but I'm like, I was my phone listening to me or is it is it like diagnosing me? But anyways. <laughs> um, yeah. Perimenopausal. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a whole nother yes thing all together so the second thing that we wanted to bring up was mm. um female great friendships female relationships yes, yes. great fem- female friendships so i had this amazing weekend last weekend with um three of my all, almost my oldest friends i've known them for 30 years um mm-hmm. we graduated school together okay so it was just beautiful it was like this like i haven't seen like all of us haven't gotten together to like do a spa day or even just to do a dinner together in probably well over a year. Mm-hmm. And so <clears throat> all of us have birthdays different times of year. We just kind of get together once a year and we're like, we're just going to celebrate all our birthdays to get like this together. weekend. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. So that's what we did. And what I really noticed was maybe different than when we were younger is that we were so focused on empowering each other and telling like sharing all the goods and sharing all the secrets of like what are you doing to to like stay healthy what are you doing like what are you doing with your kids from this really positive perspective whereas maybe like 10 years ago 15 years ago when our kids were younger the conversation would be the different. conversation was different. The conversation was certainly a lot more complaining and a lot more like, oh, I can't believe that, you know, this is happening to me yes. and my kids are doing this and, and my husband's driving me this. crazy yeah. and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and now it's so much more. I feel like as I've gotten older and all of us have gotten to this point where we have so much more compassion, we have so much more capacity, we have so much more patience with our lives where we've come to this point where we're like, okay, you know what? I've been through a lot of shit and here I am like, guys, Mm. we made it. We made it this far. We're doing well. Like we can still get together. We can still, everything was very focused on this positive spin on what used to be negative aspects of our life. Right. And I just thought that was amazing. Like I, it really hit me. I was like, wow, like we really, none of us have actually complained about anything all weekend. I don't know if we were just so happy to get together. I don't know if it was, you know, just that we were so relaxed or whatever but like all of us are facing some significant issues in our lives right it's not like there isn't stuff going on there is issues right and what's interesting sorry to interject here Mm. but um I kind of want to rewind a little bit when you when you get together with people and you start to talk about politics or right uh, and that's really what I think has affected the world in the last four years is that Mm -hmm. you know you can't talk about your belief system or Mm -hmm. what you believe at that current Mm -hmm. moment or what you're willing to or not do Um, you couldn't talk about which party you're voting for Mm -hmm. (laughs) you couldn't really talk about there's so many hot topics that were very divisive very divisive yes you can't you can't even in Insert your opinion sometimes because people would get offended, and it's affected relationships mm-hmm. 
to, you know, in, in female relationships and families, like families have literally broken apart yeah. because of uh, divisiveness. So uh, coming together now in our age, I think, you know, you're right, like coming together and talking about positive things mm-hmm. and things that would mm-hmm. influence each other in, in a great way. Like I yes. noticed that when I get together with my friends now, I talk about like, what do you want to do? Do you want to take part in, the, in another challenge? Or, hey, yes. do you want to get together and go to the gym? Or do you want to go mm-hmm. try out this soca dance class? Or do you want to, you know, I, totally. I feel like the conversation is different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, believe it or not, it's far more impactful than talking about the shit that's happening in yes. the world today. Yes. Right? It's just so crazy what's happening. Yeah, absolutely. World. Like, so, I, yeah, I kind of want to put it out there like, yes. Things are kind of, to me, a little bit batshit crazy right now. And <laughs> World War Three, like what? And, right. There, there's some real et stuff. So I'm yeah. not ignoring that. Of course. But at the same time, it was so wonderful to sit with people who are experiencing the same things. We're all seeing the same stuff around us. And yes, we touched on a few things where we were like, yeah, that, that seems that's a little that, weird. That's a little weird. Like, did you hear about that? And then we would just move on and we'd be like, so right. like, what's good about your life? And so like, what are you doing? That's really working with your kids. And what are the things that you're right. doing? Like, you look really great. What are you doing with your skincare? And like, mm. and so like, it was just amazing to share all of that because I realized that again, all of it is your life is everything that you focus on. A hundred percent. Everything. Yes. Like you are literally creating every moment of your life by the way that you act, but what, what you say, how you think, how you interact with people and what you're trying to draw out of them. Right. You are creating all of that. So Absolutely. you are literally the source of everything that you're experiencing. And that's not to say that if bad things, bad negative things happen in your life that it's your fault necessarily but you can still take responsibility for somewhere along the on the line you are creating things that are that are coming right right and I just think that the more that you get to focus on where am I going what do I want and how can I rally people in my corner that are going to help me get there right. or at least build me up so that I'm able to shoot off in that direction. Amazing. Yeah. That, yeah, those female friendships are just so, are so invaluable yeah. and, and really positive, really, positive ones. Yes. Yeah. And you can't control the outside world. Right. Like, like everyone thinks that they can make this massive impact. It takes a mm. lot more than you think. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there are things just out of our control. Yeah. Like the things that are going on in politics, you know, mm-hmm. yes, you can go and do the voting and, but, mm-hmm. but, but, but really and truly what you can control is yourself. Yeah. What you can your control circle. is your life. Yeah. What you can control is your home. Mm-hmm. What can, you can control is your family and your children and everything that's around you. So I, I, yeah, I think that's great. I think yeah. hanging out with more females is oh. definitely number you need two on the list. Girls, we need our we girls need nights. We need our <laughs> girls getaways. It's really, really, I think for women, like it is very, it really fills your cup in a different way that you really can't get from other people. Like you have your relationships, you have, you have lots of things going on in your life, but those female friendships are just so, I feel like they're just so key for really filling you up in a good way. Um, yeah. And then you're like, you come back and you're rejuvenated and you're revived and you're like, okay, now I can take on the world. And now I have so much to give to everyone else in my life. Yeah. So, so that was so, so so invaluable. And you've uh, definitely some Mm self-worth through it all too, right? Mm -hmm, Yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hundred percent. Um, the third thing you said was Mm -hmm. take time for yourself. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Taking time for yourself. I don't even know know what that is. I know. (laughs) I know that's a hard one, but you can, you can do double duty, right? So you do it by going to the gym I do. and sometimes yeah. you, and, and you also socialize where you're, while you're at the gym too, yeah, right? With, with other, other women who are on the same path who are, you know, trying to just, you know, work hard oh, yeah. and, and do stuff. You have those things in common. That's your specific thing that fills your cup. Yeah. Right. So I have taken your advice. I have started to yeah. meditate. Oh my God. Tell me about that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, the I think that a lot of people experience this uh, that there's like a storyline, yeah. you know, going on in their heads or there's things that are just constantly coming into your mm-hmm. mind mm-hmm. and just kind of just trying to flush it all out, yeah. especially when, you know, there's there's this sale or this client or that, you know, uh, thing that I have to do today. Like you you really need to focus and I do think that it takes practice. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm probably at 3 or 4 minutes. Good. 
<laughs> hey, you got to start somewhere. Uh, three or four minutes. I, I, I could have swore there was a time when I could do it for longer, but yeah. it's been very long. Well, long so time that's ago. that's the equivalent of me being able to do ten push-ups. <laughs> no, and you just did it. You did it right. So, <laughs> and I just kind of pushed through it until I could do more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, absolutely. So definitely meditating. <clears throat> and then um, one thing I learned through the seventy-five hard was just, you know read for 10 well 10 yeah. pages a day right mm-hmm. so i have actually physically since then been reading a book like a physical Ooh, book not audible I love in the car, that. not you know yes. listening to anything i've actually st- i'm still reading okay so i think that's also time for myself like mm-hmm. it's quiet time where mm-hmm. i can just focus in on the book and i still only read 10 pages i don't go you know full blown reading because there's just multiple things that i have to do right um but i appreciate that time mm-hmm. it's like it's my time. I'm going to sit. I'm gonna read. <clears throat> I agree. There's nothing like a real good hardcover book. In yes. your, I love it. I love in it my too. Hand. Yeah. yeah. I notice mm-hmm. the difference. Mm-hmm. I do. Beautiful. Yeah. I think it doesn't really matter what it is. <clears throat> Pardon me. It doesn't matter what that thing is where you take time out for yourself. It could be any activity. It doesn't have to be meditation. It can be, you know, having a coffee with, with a friend, it can be reading, it can be doing something around your house. It can be something that you enjoy doing, like some sort of activity, going for a hike, whatever it is. It's your specific, I love to do this. I'm doing this just for me. It fills my cup. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, I think that's good. What else is on your list there? Uh, setting boundaries. Oh my gosh. Setting boundaries. It's a big no. That's it. (laughs) No, not so how doing about, it. How about, how about, <laughs> yeah, how about really like uh, understanding and, and this is still a work in progress for me, understanding that no can be a full sentence. Okay. I think for, as women, we tend to always justify and try to over explain our reasonings behind yes. things. So it's like, oh no, I can't do that because I'm doing X, Y, Z. And because this person's depending on me and, and you do this big explanation <clears throat> it's okay to be like, no, you don't necessarily need to say to the person, I just don't feel like doing that, but you can say no because you just don't feel like something. Yeah. No. Right. And yeah. I find like, I still have a hard time. It's like, you want to slip in a little white lie in there to justify. Yes. It's like this, like, no, I, you know, it's not a good time or like, I, I'm just, you know, I'm not feeling well. Like, it's just so easy to say some little tag to it. But I think we should practice learning how to say, no, no I'm just not like I'm gonna practice right something now. like uh, something along the lines of like, I'm not available for that right now. Or I'm just, it's, it's, it's not something that, you know, that I feel like I want to do right now. No. You know? No. Can you practice it? <laughs> I'm practicing right now. No. You know no. what? It's, it's. Or just no, thank you. How about that? No, thank you. It's the explanation. I always do the explanation, the explanation. And part yeah. of it is, okay, in, in my work setting, mm. I, 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 I feel like I have to do the explanation. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, but in my, my, my private life or my personal life, I feel like sometimes, you know, as a woman, like mm. maybe it is, you know, because we, you kind of mentioned it too, is that we we always try to be agreeable. Yes. Or try to at least yeah. compromise. Yes. But why are we compromising in certain situations? If uh, no is a no, like, yeah. no, I don't want that. No, I don't like that. No, yeah. that's not for me. And that's it. And that should be okay. Yeah, it doesn't, End of story. why does that yeah. feel so hard so for hard, some right? of us, it's right? It's so hard because we don't want to offend anybody. Yeah. We don't want to, we want to, we want to at least try to be open. Yeah. You know, I've always tried to be open to possibilities yes, as opposed yeah. to being like, okay, I'm going to just be closed off. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when you're, when you're a social person, like I am, mm-hmm. you know, and, mm-hmm. and you want to just talk to everybody and be, uh, you know, kind of open to their thought processes or perspectives. Yeah. Um, it's hard to be like, mm, no. So you know, it's, it's yeah, hard because yeah, you yeah. want to, well, again, so you and I are pretty that. good about that though. Like you and I will actually st- text to each other and be like I'm really kind of not up for that yeah and we're okay with it yes because I know you don't get easily offended right and I know that like Mm. at the end of the day you're still gonna like me tomorrow yeah and I'm still gonna like you tomorrow and we're we're yeah we're good we're good we're good we're good (laughs) yeah you know what and I think I think but what if you could extend that to other people and assume come in with the energy like me tomorrow yeah come in with the energy and assume that this is nothing for you to take personally or be offended by. 
And even the way you deliver it can be like, no, I'm actually not really up for that today, but thank you. And that's yes. it. Okay. Right. And just, but no, no, thank you in a, in a, in a kind of kind way or whatever. I think that's good enough. I think we should all practice that. And I think we should also all practice not taking everything so personally. so personally. Yeah. Well, taking not things so personally is that the like, person doesn't like you and that's why uh-huh. they're saying no, or not assuming that there's something wrong with you or the idea or whatever. And that's why they're saying no. Like right. assume that they might have 500 other things that they need to do that they don't want to get into with you. Right. Let's always like, I, I feel like let's try to be more charitable with people and then we'll be less offended. And then it, it will kind of like feed itself, right? Then you feel more comfortable saying no about things. You feel comfortable about setting a boundary. Like that's not really going to work for me. I've said that to people before <laughs> and they're just a little bit, mm, I'm like, I'm sorry, that's not going to work for me. Oh, that's great. I can't do that. Right. Or I, I, you know, I, I've literally said that over text and my friend's still my friend and they still love me. And you know what I mean? Like it, I don't do it all the time. Like I've, I've literally just said that. Um, and it was really hard and awkward for me. And I'm like, but I'm not, I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie to you all the time and pretend that there's something up or like, mm. you know, I yeah. just feel like I'm just done with that. Like, let's just be really authentic with each other and be able to like own like where you're at so that you can give other people permission to do the same thing. Right. Right. So the, so as we become <clears> wiser, <throat> we just learn how to say no. Yeah. No, thank no, you. No, thank you. I'm not going <laughs> to do that today. Yeah. You know, another just like, time maybe or right, another right. situation, but also no, I don't, you know, practice the same belief Whatever system it or, is. Same, or believe the same perspective as you. Yeah. Don't be offended if I don't. <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, I think that as we, you know, as we become more mature, yeah. we should be able to respect other people's opinions. Yes. And maybe be open to other perspectives. And if you're not, then it's like, mm-hmm. no, you know, <laughs> that's okay. And it, it's, it's not, okay. even, yeah. And yeah. it doesn't always have to be a boundary of no, it can be a boundary of yes, and here's my limit. Yes. Okay. Right? So you can say yes, but you can you can put a limit on it, right? If it's like you want to, you someone wants you to help out with something. Yes, but I'm only free until six. Okay. Like I'd love to help you, but this is my time that I can give you. Right. That's reasonable. Right. I think that's totally reasonable. Right. Like I had to do that <clears throat> the, like last week. Right. Someone asked me to help with like decorating and doing stuff. And I was like, that's great, but I can only show up from this time to this time. Does that work for you? Like, do you still need help at that time? And they were like, oh, okay. Right. Instead of them assuming like I'm going to be there all day and then me not showing up or me having to kind of be like, oh, but I have this. And then I have, like I said, yes. And then I had to backtrack. I'm like, no, I'm just going to say, yes, I'd love to help you. I would love to help you. And here's my capacity. Right. Right. So that's a boundary that people can practice. So it's, it's little things like that. I think if we practice those things, we'll be so much more happy. And it's just so much, it's, there's less stress. There's less you having to backtrack, less of these little white lies that we tell to, that we think are saving other people's emotions and feelings when really like we can we can be honest and authentic and still yes. be like really respectful. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm, what's what's your last thing goodness goals making new goals oh yes I love this so yeah as I I think that as you're getting older our intentions our goals our aspirations do change over time and so like let's always let's make new goals yeah right let's make new things that you want to try new things that you want to experience yes um I don't know is there anything new that's kind of come up for you that you're like you know what I I think there's there's a new well the dancing yeah so that's dancing is thing. definitely uh something I want to do mm-hmm. um the uh, the ballroom style I, I I'm in is is mainly salsa so yep. it's mainly um that and I I definitely have a goal of getting to a certain level uh other than that I find that my goals are situated around my my career Mm, and and there's nothing wrong with always recapping and refocusing and saying okay you know what have I done the last little while and what do I see for my future and what do I see for Mm. myself and what do I see for my financial goals and what do I see for my kids going to college and how much that's going to cost and like kind of like revamping and re jigging everything yes. so I've had to do that for myself and, <clears throat> and 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 the direction that I'm going in um you know 
also, you know, goals for the the future in the next, say, 20 years, like, mm-hmm. what does that look like? You know, I yeah. find that with all the peril that has happened, some people have stopped looking forward. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I get And, and I, I find that, that even our kids have stopped looking forward, yeah. you know? Our children are not really looking to the future because it's kind of like, okay, the world's going to end, it's very climate uns- change is yeah. going to take out the earth. Like, all of these things are very, you know, limiting. Yes. yes. So our kids... But they're also out there and they haven't happened. They haven't happened. Right. They're so mentioned it's... kind of like, you know, <laughs> uh, in a way that yeah. almost subliminally, like subliminally tells our children that yes. there's... There's nothing, nothing to, look, to forward look forward to. Yes. And I think that's sad, mm. right? And I always I always reword things with my kids as far as that's concerned. I'm like, what do you want to do like with your life? Like what do you want to, how do you see your future? How do you see, you know, your husband? How do you see things? And and they and I catch them, you know, kind of telling me and and kind of questioning that themselves, right? Mm-hmm. Like what does that future look like? So there's really nothing <clears throat> wrong with looking ahead, making new goals, figuring out what you want to do for yourself, yeah. but also like you know explore what the future looks mm-hmm. like be excited for the future yeah be excited for what the future holds like yeah. i feel like if we all do that the future will be brighter yeah i yeah. believe so i believe so because i i do think like like you know i think on a spiritual level we are all co-creating this yes so if we are co-creating and keep speaking into being this doom gloom everything's Armageddon. gonna end yes. da, da, da. The, uh, what else is going to happen? Yeah, of course, of we're course. we're moving ourselves in there. How can we not create that? Yes. So what are so like? Let's get creative with like what can we do? What is right. the what is the kind of life and the earth and the place that I want to create? Right. Let me live into that. Right. Because at the end of the day, all of that's in my fantasy, anyways. I might as well pick something that I want. Yeah. Right? It may as well I'm, be good. I'm making it up as I go. It may as well be growth mindset well. oriented. It, yeah. may, it, may, it may as well be that perfect body that you want. Yes. It may as well be like yeah. everything that you desire. Like totally. it's not necessarily mm-hmm. something physical, like not trying to say that, yeah. you know, it has to be that yeah. Louis Vuitton purse or whatever. I'm right. saying, you know, yeah. there's it's nothing the wrong with it's like, wanting right. a good life. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with wanting a good future for yourself. Yeah. So yeah. making those goals, whether you want to start an online business or you want to yes. get your real estate license, yeah. or you want to travel go back more. to school mm-hmm. if you want to travel more if you whatever it is mm-hmm. put your mind to it like mm-hmm. look forward make new goals decide what you want to do and go for it yeah like if anything has taught you anything that at has this happened, point in your life <laughs> so here's it's like life is really short right and you need to just yes. go for it yeah because and every single dark night that you've gone through you're yes. here you've survived it Exactly. You've gone through to the other end. You've done this many, many times in your life where you thought it was the end. You thought like, this is it. This is going to just, I'm done. Yeah. And then you wake up the next morning and the next week and the next month and you're like, I survived that. Survived. That's behind me now. That's what happens when you get older. <clears throat> you yeah. survived it. Yeah. You know it. You know you, that you can get through, through things. It. You know yeah. you can get you've through things. You've been through those sleepless nights with your babies. You've right. been through like a yeah. lot of ups and downs. Right. You've been through probably, you know, some some broke moments. Yes. <laughs> some rich yes. moments. And broken hearted moments. Exactly. And you mended yourself. Mm-hmm. You got yourself going. So this is this is your opportunity to be like, you know what? I'm still here. Armageddon hasn't happened. Yes. The sun has not, the world's you know, definitely weird though. It's I will weird. Say it that. hasn't ended. It has not ended. But it's weird. So how do we, <laughs> how do we want to create the right. next 10 years, the next 20 years of our lives? Because like I said before, you are creating your reality right. moment by moment. Every time you, you put something out there, it's, it's out there. And it, comes it is back. now out there. It'll, yes. it'll come back to you in different ways. Right. Absolutely. So, yeah. So I love that. So those are our five tips. What are, what are, what were the top, top five yeah. again? So, mm. um, tweaking your health and fitness. Okay. So definitely focus on that. You're yes. going to feel like a Millie. Yes. Uh, great female relationships mm-hmm. like ours. Mm-hmm. Um, taking time out for yourself. Yeah. Like meditating, which I'm getting there or working out (laughs) (laughs) uh setting boundaries saying no Mm -hmm. or yes Mm -hmm. with restrictions or limits yeah yeah uh and then making new goals which i think is a very very powerful one so yes hopefully you make some serious goals and make Mm. some changes and yeah i love it thank you so much for joining us today guys we will see you next time